Thanks, Mark. Kenton resident Maddie Kugel received a dog for Christmas, which is of course exciting for any young girl. But when the weather turned, she soon realized that she didn't have a place to take her puppy to play outdoors. The precocious 10-year-old came up with a solution, and it didn't take her long to turn her idea into reality. I wanted a dog party, so my grandma said if I got a dog for Christmas, I can have one. And But there's really no fenced-in area where I can have, the, like, let them off the leash. So I thought, why not have one here in town? And the Kenton Dog Park in Wharton Park was born. With the help of her grandma, Maddie acted quickly. She raised $2,000 so far, and thanks to Procter & Gamble volunteers, the park has fencing and an obstacle course is being constructed. My grandma said, do you want to come with me to a parks and recreation meeting? And I said, yeah, and my mom said I could. And so I did go, told them my idea, and they liked it. So next I went to a council meeting, and they liked it too. She went to Park and Recreation, then she went to City Council, which I said on that, and then she went to Humane Society, and she's been all around talking to people, that Business and Alliance, and um, banks. She's went all kinds of places. There's still more money to be raised, about $6,000 worth, but Procter & Gamble has helped expedite the process. I love seeing that this idea came from a 10-year-old who had a dream, and knowing that she's my child, it makes me feel really blessed just to know that other girls can see her and see that she's on the right path um, through being a Christian and through like keeping your grades up in school and stuff. And just knowing that at 10, there was no way I could have taken a project like this on. So it makes me feel really good that she's able to do it and that she's followed through step by step. It blesses me because if she can do this at 10, you know, what is she going to do when she's 21, when she's older? You know, there's, there's nothing that she can't do. Faith is an important part of Maddie's life, and she has seen the ways that God has helped her as her idea comes to life. God has really blessed us. We like pray like almost every day, and um, it happened. Through all of this, we've just said that this is a God thing, and that we believe that we're gonna just like do prayer that all things are possible with God. So. We still have quite a ways to go, even though the fence is up, we still have quite a ways to go um, for donations and things like that, but we're believing that God's going to see us through to the end. I'm really proud of her because she's only 10 years old and she's really shy, and this has pushed her. And doing this today, she kept saying, Grandma, what am I going to say? I'm scared. I said, you'll do fine. And she said, well, I know that God's helping me because he's helped me do it this far. He'll help me get raise the rest of the money to pay for it. And Procter and Gamble said that they wanted to come in and put the, the um, logistic things in for the dogs. And then they were going to plant shrubs and do all kinds of stuff. And she said, God's doing it, isn't he? So, yeah, it's exciting. Bark Park, as Maddie has named it, is coming along nicely, but there's still work to be done. $2,000 has already been raised, and you can donate to the Dog Park Project at Quest Bank in Kenton, or call Maddie directly at 567-295-0109 to make a contribution. There will also be a Dog Days of Summer fundraiser on July 12th at 4 p.m. in the park, and all are encouraged to attend.